Dad here with Dad and Brad's Adventures. Uh, in the last episode, or if Brad splices this together, the last video clip was we got the top of the deck finished, and now we're going to start on the steps. So I came out this morning and, and uh, got my stuff measured up and figured out what I was going to do, and I made a small template here to, so we could hold it up to the, to the steps on the, where it's going to go on the pool to see how that's going to work. Ah, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and mark it out on this board. I got these set at uh, 7 inch risers, 10 inch treads, but we're not going to cut cut these out like you would normal steps or like you would for you know, a house or something. What we're going to do is these will remain solid and I'll put my 3 inch treads all the way in here and run them run them in with big screws from the sides and build the whole thing and then we'll set it up on the deck when we're done so my template worked out good we're going to set it aside so it falls off of there and i'm going to mark out the uh the, the steps where we want them here and go from there and then we'll we'll cut these pieces and we'll see where we're at with that. And these marks will stay here for, uh, that's, that'll be the top of our treads will end up on these marks. Yeah, we got to use our baby skill saw here. Let's see if I'm still in the frame, will you? Takes as much to push this guard up as it does to cut.
push down on one side? Yeah, if you could. It was, it just, just hold that so it doesn't. Yeah, yeah so it doesn't. Yeah, it's going to flip up, so you be careful. Okay. cut and we'll have these sides done. That'd be pretty heavy duty. Here's roughly what it's going to look like. I'm going to have to take uh, an inch and a quarter. I'm going to have to take an inch and a quarter off the tops of these right here so it'll fit right up underneath the uh, overhang I put on there. And then we'll cut our treads. I'll go back and cut those. And, and we need six of them. And I think we're going to make them whatever... About where I've got it set and I think looks pretty good. 58 inches. That's right at 58 inches where it's at. I think that's good enough because there'll only be railing on this outside and the inside you'll be able to grab the pool if you need to or fall in it, whichever the case may be. But uh, yeah, I'll go cut six 58 inch treads and then I'm gonna plane those. I don't know if I'll plane and route these I just may route the edges of these tops and leave the rest of it rough and the sides rough I don't think I'll plane all that we'll see how it looks so uh, I'll bring you back when I get uh, when I figure out where I'm gonna I'm gonna plane those or not I'm pretty sure I'm gonna plane, plane and route the edges of the treads so we might run them through the planer in the shop or I don't know that I'll hand plane them anyway that's where we're at and uh, we'll see you in a bit Here we go, somewhat change of plans. I decided to uh, go ahead and hand plane them and route them out here. And when I get all the pieces and parts done, I'll take them in and we'll start assembling. But there's, there's the sides I started on those. And here's five of the uh, treads cut and the other treads laying there underneath that. So we'll get them planed up and uh, when we start putting it together, I'll be here we go we got everything planed and routed 
and stacked in the shop here where it's a little bit cooler than outside. And I'm gonna assemble it here on the bench. And here is the uh, sides. I've got them laid out and I'm gonna go through and uh, lay out and mark three holes and pre-drill them to run these legs through into the, uh, to run these legs through into the treads. So that's uh, what I'm gonna do now is lay that out and pre-drill those holes. We got it marked and I got one pre-drill. We'll pre-drill this in and then uh, we'll start installing the thread. My drill bit's just about right long enough. Fortunately, this drill is really easy.
I don't know if they're going to have enough beds to do this. Hi, folks. Dad here. Uh, where we left off last night was me trying to figure out how to get the runners and stuff set up on the table. So uh, I got some help and it was actually pretty easy. And what had happened is uh, I got help and got started and didn't stop to turn the camera on. So this is what we ended up with. We got it done, put together, and I'm gonna move it over on the other side because it's raining this morning. And uh, start, I'm gonna get a coat of stain on it. And then, uh, uh, it's supposed to dry up a little bit today. I'll go out and get uh, get it all, the ground all prepared and try to get it on maybe this evening or tomorrow. Hopefully it'll, we've had rain the last two days and hopefully it'll dry off so I can get, get everything stained before we start using it so it doesn't get all uh, dirty and stuff. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, when I put them on, I will definitely get get some shots of that but I think they turned out pretty nice and uh, I think it'll look good we'll catch you in a little bit when we put it on thanks bye all right here we go got it set in place and two screws in it I'll get unrigged from it and finish screwing it fast and there we have it the steps are done Okay guys, here's the finished product. Dad's got all the, the handrails up. Got the little solar lights out on top. Um, Dad kind of got in a pinch there and didn't uh, didn't record a whole lot of uh, the handrail here. Um, I'm not sure when you guys will see this, but it's, uh, what's today? Today's Monday, July 3rd. Dad's having a get together dad and uh, noreen are having a get together on july 4th here he wanted to get the deck all done so he got got pushed for time here and didn't really record a whole lot of the handrails but this is the finished product guys she is looking mint get up here and you guys can take a look at it but i'm not i'm not sure where we left off in the last video i think we had all the decking down and, and all he had left to do was the handrails like I said, I don't think he recorded any of that, but got a little solar lights put up on the top. Got the handrails all done. Got the deck furniture out here. She is looking good. Um, the deck itself has has a, I don't know, like a Thompson's water seal. I'm not even sure what it is. Some sort of sealant on it. He hasn't done these yet. He's going to wait till the fall to do those. Just because of the humidity right now. It's like 85% humidity, but back you up here and you guys can take a gander. Looking good, guys. Um, in one of the other in one of the other videos here, I think Dad said he had like 300 bucks in the whole thing. Um, all the all the wood is Western cedar. We got all that from the old telephone poles. We uh, we found a local guy around here that was was hoarding a bunch of them, and we got them for uh, a little bit of trade. We're going to cut him some stuff for the stuff that we cut, and it worked out all right. So nothing in the, nothing in the cedar. Um, lag bolts and stuff like that. Fasteners, I think Dad said he had 250 300 bucks in that. And then uh, the solar lights were a little extra on top of that. I'm not sure what they cost. I'm assuming they come from Amazon. But uh, anyway, guys, this will be the last of the deck build been quite the project dad's been working really really hard on it got her dialed in just for this weekend um, but now that it's done he'll be able to enjoy it for for many 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 years to come anyway guys thanks for watching god bless make sure you like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next adventure mm -hmm.